Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now March 14th of 2021 and ever since the very end of the Skywalker Saga, The Mandalorian Season 2, and yes, even the Gina Carano fired situation, a lot of fans have been very skeptical about exactly whether or not John and Dave are really going to be able to pull things off when it comes to the overall Star Wars franchise. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one thing about Disney Star Wars is that, yes, we do know that they are working on over a dozen projects as we speak. We're talking about the Ahsoka Tano series, Kenobi, and Andor more, and that's just to name a few. And John and Dave are a part of all those projects to some extent, some more than others. Now, when we go ahead and check out exactly what's been happening, we obviously know that Kathleen Kennedy over the years has been nothing more than a force of destruction, as I like to call her, Darthleen Kennedy, has done nothing than ignore the fans. You know, we have seen this time and time again. I mean, one of her interviews, I think it was back in August, if I'm not mistaken, uh, she literally just completely gave us the concept that there is no source material before when Disney took over Star Wars, as if Star Wars Legends is not even a thing. Kathleen Kennedy tried to make that a reality, people called it out, Kathleen Kennedy went into hiding. And it really made her, you know, look very pathetic in my eyes, because how could you of all people, right, the president of Lucasfilm, say something like that, that there is no source material to draw from before 2012? And it just made no sense to me. It really didn't. So beyond all of this, we know that John and Dave are pouring their heart and soul into the Star Wars franchise. We also know that uh, they're moving along very well with The Mandalorian Season 3 and 4. They're actually developing those two seasons back to back, believe it or not. Now, with that being said, however, now that, the, now that both Disney and Lucasfilm are focused on their new Star Wars universe overall... Both Dave Filoni and John Favreau have been hard at work on their new Star Wars universe moving ahead. It's described that currently creator John Favreau recently got into a big creative difference with Lucasfilm's Kathleen Kennedy and her plan to push forward a plan for the Star Wars franchise that John Favreau did not agree with. Now it's said that Kathleen Kennedy was pushing forward the concept of Cara Dune's recast for The Mandalorian Season 3 and 4 and tried her absolute best to convince Disney's higher-ups to actually make this a thing for Season 3 and 4, as well as including Geode the Rock into the series from the High Republic era to make the character familiar before the Acolyte series drops, which is set to include Geode as well. However, John Fever fought his hardest to prevent this from happening and took it up with the higher-ups over at Disney, given that, of course, he has full creative control over the series. Kennedy was trying her absolute best to pretty much, you know, overall take over John Favreau's creative overall power for the Mandalorian series and tried her best to convince Disney to force a Cara Dune recast and include Geode in the Mandalorian series. However, John Favreau is described to have ended and canceled Kathleen Kennedy's Star Wars plan for Geode the Rock and a Cara Dune recast, which by the way was gaining a little bit of traction for a while and was beginning to convince the Disney higher-ups to be set in the Mandalorian series. However, it's noted that Kathleen Kennedy is now very angry with John Favreau, given that the higher-ups over at Disney agreed with Favreau to trust him on, of course, what he is doing with the franchise. Favreau canceled, all right, the proposed plan by Kathleen Kennedy to include Geo the Rock and Cara Dune's recast in the two seasons. However, Disney agreed to recast Cara Dune and other TV shows separate from the Mandalorian show in order to continue making merchandise based on the character. So let's just, you know, stop right here for one second before we move on. The thing about Kathleen Kennedy, you can tell that she's very power hungry very power driven that's her aim or that's her drive if you will she doesn't care about the fans she doesn't care about the fandom what she overall cares about is power ego and just being in control and that's pretty much her drive you know we've talked about this a couple of posts back that kennedy does not listen to the fans and most likely knows exactly what she is doing she's not clueless I'm pretty much certain that she's not clueless. She knows what she's doing. She knows how the fans feel. She keeps calling the backlash from The Last Jedi a minority 
in which it most certainly is not. I want to give you guys a great example. Look at what happened with the Sonic movie when they really messed up with the design of Sonic. And when the fans called it out, what happened? Well, the designers, they suggested doing a redesign. The company pretty much delayed the movie a couple of months. I believe it was until February of 2020, if I'm not mistaken. And that, right then and there, tells us that there are companies that listen to the fans, even if they do things wrong. Lucasfilm, specifically Kathleen Kennedy, is a person that does not want to take responsibility in any way, shape, or form because it makes herself look powerless. It makes herself look weaker or like she made a massive mistake. And what she did, but she doesn't want to own it. She doesn't want to actually face it. And that's her problem, is that look at what she did in the Oscars video, right? And how much backlash that got. I'm sure that you guys know what I'm talking about. And then we have not seen her since on camera at all, period. That was it. And Kathleen Kennedy, mind you, rarely goes on camera. We barely see her, especially now that Star Wars Celebration is not going to be a thing until next year of 22. So we're not going to be seeing a lot of Kathleen Kennedy, but we will be hearing a lot more from her, all right, in the next couple of months because she's the very person that kind of handles announcing the roadmap of new projects not that she's necessarily involved on a creative level but she's the one that announces them as we saw a couple of months ago she announced ahsoka and or um, other tv shows out there that are all a part of this new universe we're going to be getting more tv shows announced in the fall of 21 and then even more next year at star wars celebration of 2022 it may sound like they're overdoing it, and it may certainly seem so, but look at what Marvel's doing. Marvel just had WandaVision. They're already coming out with Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Basically, Star Wars wants to be like that with their Disney Plus platform. They eventually want to reach that level where they can just release a TV show after a TV show that are quote-unquote limited series that are not going to have follow-up seasons. So it wouldn't necessarily matter to actually release multiple projects so close to each other. They eventually want to do that. They're going to start experimenting that in 2024, which, by the way, is still a far ways off. It's why we're getting so many TV shows announced, not just later this year, but also next year, on top of what we learned about a couple months ago. So, like I've said, this is a very interesting point that Jon Favreau was able to cancel Kathleen Kennedy's plan to include Geode the Rock and the Car Dune recast for Mandalorian Season 3 and 4. However, the recast is going to be a thing in other TV shows. This most likely applies to, perhaps, The Book of Boba Fett. There might be a little bit of a cameo in there of Car Dune and other TV shows that are yet to be announced. That's going to include Car Dune. John Favreau is also working on a reformatted version or a redone version of Rangers of the New Republic. It's going to get a brand new title, a brand new premise, you know, a plot, if you will, a brand new character. In fact, a fan favorite character taking the role of Cara Dune. Uh, we've heard that it's connected to either the Clone Wars or Star Wars Rebels. So that's a very interesting slot there. But overall, I think that what John Favreau is doing, he's still on track. He's still moving ahead and he's just really got his goal in mind. So like I've said before in the past, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know about all this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time.